Okay, let's take a look at how to do a material order. We're in our job, um, our job data. We've got our number one tray, which is our roof. We're going to add some other trays because this job is uh, quite extensive. We've got roof and fencing, gutters and siding, and some other things to do here. But uh, right now, we're going to focus on doing a material order. And you can see that we have our work order is ready to go, and our order. Um, which is blue, that means that is the work order is ready, so the order is initially done, it's just in a saved mode. So let's go ahead and click on the order, click on edit, and I'm gonna send this to myself, just so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, whenever you put your vendor in, of course, it's gonna populate the email to them, you can send one, or 15 depending on how many people are needing to be in the, the know on that. So let's go ahead and send that order out tomorrow and special instructions we have none on this particular job and let's just take a look and make sure everything's ready. We have all our material in. Looks good so we're going to hit the complete order button and we're going to hit update order and that, that order was just sent. So let's go back to our roof data. And now we'll get some more prompts on the orders when the uh, supplier reads it and when we check it in on the ground. 